Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Lazell. I'm the business website director of Healy Consultants Group in Singapore. I have with me today uh, Yekaterina Lee. She's the senior client and relationship manager for Healy Consultants, also operating out of our Singapore office. Good afternoon, Katia. Good afternoon, Mark. How are you doing today? Oh, fine. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Katia, you're going to be telling me a little bit about an engagement you recently completed for a client in Hong Kong. Is that correct? Yes, this is correct. OK, would you just give us uh, a little bit of background on the client? Uh, what was their activities? What was their line of business? And what were the objectives they were seeking to meet in setting up a business in Hong Kong? Uh, sure. Uh, the company's activities include vessel crew management and providing of consultants from different industries. And uh, the client has a similar business in Brazil. So actually, they wanted to incorporate in Hong Kong to be able to do similar business there and also in other Asian countries. So in this engagement, we needed to incorporate a Hong Kong entity and also to open a corporate bank account for the same. OK, and the corporate bank account was located where, Katia? Oh, it was located outside of Hong Kong. OK, and what, what were the reasons why Hong Kong was chosen uh, by the client? Uh, you, you said obviously to, to trade within Asia, but uh, were there any specific benefits to setting up the business in Hong Kong? Uh, I think that the client chose it is because the setting uh, up uh, is pretty straightforward there. And yeah. also Hong Kong has a, a reputation of a stable and recognized country. So that's why uh, the client chose it. Yeah, sure. Um, what were some of the uh, challenges and complexities that you encountered during the engagement? Obviously, at Healy Consultants, we pride ourselves on being solutions driven. We pride ourselves on, on finding ways through the challenges. But were there, were there any specific challenges? Hong Kong being one of the easier jurisdictions, I think, to, to set up a business, correct? Uh, yeah, you're correct. Uh, I think one of the challenge was that uh, the Hong Kong government asked to courier the original uh, documents to Hong Kong, but uh, the client did so, and uh, the incorporation process was prolonged for one week, but I think it was uh, not a long time for client to wait. Uh, but I think that the bigger challenge came from bank account opening process, uh, because uh, our client wanted to open uh, a bank account in Singapore. Uh, however, a lot of uh, Singapore banks have two conditions. First, they want a face-to-face -face meeting. Not all of them, but some of them do. And secondly, they uh, have a high average monthly balance. But our client was not able to, to meet it because it's a young and new company. So that's why um, we could not uh, source a confirmation of interest from Singapore banks. Okay. So what was the alternative solution? Uh, yeah, so actually, uh, after approaching majority of the banks in Singapore, I discussed uh, the uh, possible solutions with the clients and we decided to approach different global banks, uh, including uh, banks in Europe and Americas. So eventually I sourced a Puerto Rican solution with one of the banks there. And uh, the opening process was pretty smooth. The bank account was opened within one month since all Know Your Customer documents were submitted to the bank. Very, very good. So overall time frame for the engagement, including Hong Kong incorporation plus bank account, was how long, Katia, roughly? I think it was uh, about two or three months. OK. And I guess in the context of COVID and, and uh, at a time when timelines are extended, that sounds like a pretty good result to me. I'm sure you had a very happy client uh, on your hands, which is which is wonderful. Um, what would be some of the, the key takeaways from, from the engagement for you, Katia? Uh, I think that uh, it is very important to be aware of clients' expectations and uh, about banking requirements and timelines uh, from the start because uh, then we can devise an efficient strategy to open a, an account with a suitable bank. Because sometimes, uh, actually during the process, I proposed different solutions to the client, but he said that uh, we would like this and that. And after clarifying the same, it was much more easier for me to find a suitable solution for them. And also, there were no surprises during the process. So I think this was um, the key takeaway for me. And also, of course, I also uh, opened the Puerto Rican bank account for the first time 
it was also a meaningful experience for me. Mm. Was that was that uh, done in the English language, or do they offer Sp is it Spanish language, or were there any language uh, communication difficulties with Puerto Rico or not? Uh, for to my uh, likeness, uh, actually, bank uh, bank's language is Spanish, but ah sorry, it's Portuguese. But uh, because the client himself knows Portuguese while living in Brazil, mm. therefore we didn't have any difficulties there. Okay, very good. Katia, thank you very much for giving us this brief uh, overview of your Hong Kong Puerto Rico engagement, and we look forward to hearing from you with other engagements over the next few weeks and months. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mark. Bye bye.